all right so i hope my audio is clear welcome to the video and today i'll be demonstrating the four-way traffic light system and my design using logic gates so first and foremost we have four traffic lights which are all red and we want to be able to go through the colors of the traffic light for each traffic light while having the rest of them red so allow me to demonstrate As you can see red and yellow green back to yellow then red and so on and so forth and so this design is basically infinite as long as i keep the program running it will cycle through the colors for each traffic light while making sure the others stay red and yeah so let me to just reset the simulation and in order to design this, we need a D flip flop, a two to four multiplexer, a two bit counter, and a zero to five counter, also known as a mod five counter. So first let's, let's take a look at the D flip flop that controls these three lights. So in order to design the flip flop, you need to have a state diagram. And my state diagram is as follows. I have <clears throat> six states here which is red, red and yellow, green three times because I want green for three ticks, yellow, and then back to red. So as you can see, I've actually given them numbers. So red is 000, red and yellow is 001. Green for each state has its own number, 010, 011, and 100, and yellow is 101. So Whenever the light is red and my input or X is equal to zero, it stays red. However, as soon as it gets an input of one, it transitions to red and yellow. And following that, whether the input is zero or one, the light will transition to green, stay green, and then go back to yellow and finally come back to red. And so given the state diagram, I designed the state table for the current state the input and the present state, or rather the next state. So current state, which is 000, also known as red. My input, so in this case, if I have input as zero, the next state is going to be 000, which means that the light will stay red since 000 is the code for red based off of the state diagram. Let's look at 000 when the input is one. When the input is one, the next state will be 001, which is the code for red and yellow. And this applies to the rest of the state table, where, for example, at 001, which is red and yellow, whether my input is zero or one, the next state will be 010, which is green. And so, using this information from the next state side of the table, I designed the Boolean functions and simplified them using kmaps. So as you can see here, we have three functions, which is A, B, and C. And A is A complement, B, C, plus A, B complement, C complement, and B and C are as follows. And at the end here, you can see a complement C complement X, or X is equal to the input from the table. Now that I have the Boolean functions, I can finally design the D flip flop circuit. So as you can see here, this is my D flip flop. This is the high input or known as X, also known as X. And this is my clock down below. So when my input is one, you can see on the right hand side that when I keep tapping on the clock, there are changes in the states. So these are actually the traffic lights. And if I were to replace them with the actual traffic lights, right around here, they would actually function all the same so let me get you through the states. So it's to red right now, then red and yellow, green, green for one more tick and another tick, that's three in total, followed by yellow, and then back to red. 
So there we have the D flip flop. And now that this, this is covered, let's take a look at the multiplexer. So why do we need the multiplexer? Well, I have three colors that are controlled by the flip flop and I have four traffic light sets. So I want to be able to swap through the traffic lights. So take a look at the output lines. First, it's number one, that's traffic light number one. So if I were to simulate and enable ticking, as you can see, as it goes through the colors, now number two lights up. So that's traffic light number two. And this continues throughout the whole circuit. So how do you design the multiplexer? Well, it's a very simple design. It's just A and B, which are inputs. Zero, zero is for traffic light number one. Zero, one is for traffic light number two. One, zero is for traffic light number three and one one is for traffic light number four. Now we have the counters, which is a two bit counter and a zero to five counter. So the two bit counter controls the two to four multiplexer and tells it when to swap. And the zero to five counter allows us to go through all five states from zero to five of the traffic light. So as you can recall, the five states were red, which is zero, red and yellow, state one, green, 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 which is state two, three, and four, and yellow, which is state five. As you can see, I've numbered them in binary, and their decimal conversions are equivalent to the numbers. So given that information, I use a counter to basically make sure that the lights go through all the stages before the two bit counter turns on and tells the multiplexer to swap. So in order to demonstrate this, I've actually expanded the circuit from what you've seen previously. And right here, this is our first input, which is the high input. Right here is the counter, the zero to five counter. Down below here is the two bit counter and over here is the multiplexer. So let me reset the simulation and let us go through each tick. So in the first tick, the light is red. Now at the moment, we can see that in the zero to five counter, it's zero, 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 which is the number for red. In the next tick, we can see that it's now yellow and we have zero, zero, one. You read it from right to left and that's yellow as shown in the diagram, red and yellow, zero, zero, one. Now another tick and it's green, which is zero, one, zero. One more tick, zero, one, one. One more tick, one, zero, zero. As you can see, it still stays green. And so if we refer to the diagram, 010, 011, and 100 are all green. Now, the next state will be yellow, which is 101, followed by 000, which is the reset. And as you can see, now this line, which is now green, means that this flip flop is powered because after the tick, what you can see is this counter turned on. So now we have zero one and zero one refers to the second traffic signal. And it just keeps going as so. So take a look at the, the two bit counter at the bottom. As soon as we get done with the tick, boom, one zero. Now this is the third. And let me go through the ticks. 1-1, one, one. now the fourth, and so on and so forth. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, if you've managed to solve this problem in your own way, make sure to share it with me, perhaps a video or in the comments. And if, you, if this explanation was helpful to you, 
then make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching